I think my main reaction to it is one of astonishment, really, and of being completely baffled. Um, the question, one of the questions is which direction is the church leading in? But the report, in one sense, doesn't really answer that. On the one hand, it says that the doctrine of marriage hasn't changed. On the other hand, it then proposes a whole raft of things which completely contradict the church's doctrine of marriage. So it talks about marriage being between one man and one woman and then talks about blessing same-sex relationships. It talks about the doctrine of the church and then it immediately talks about diversity of views. So it appears as though the document is very happy to be completely incoherent to suggest that uh, subscribing to the doctrine of the church in this area is optional. Uh, it suggests that the future guidance for clergy will be they can do what they like in terms of either using the prayers that are offered or not using them. And it even hints that the discipline for clergy themselves might be entirely optional. Uh, it's extraordinary, really. It pays no attention whatsoever to the myriad statements that have been made in the past by the bishops quite explicitly. It pays no attention whatever to uh, you know, any substantial engagement with scripture. It doesn't really engage whatsoever with the views of the church worldwide, let alone the, the views of the Anglican communion. Uh, and I think it seems to be encouraging every person to do what's right in their own eyes. So I think it's quite an extraordinary statement. It's, it's actually embarrassingly badly written. Um, it's not going to be given, asked, invited approval of synod. The bishops have made it clear they're going to bypass synod. So I think it's a sad day for the Church of England. Uh, to be honest, if I was part of this, I'd be embarrassed. It's so poor.